in the blue corner, Diego Zuria. His opponent, Temujin Uzi Orshay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the debut fight of two very accomplished amateur fighters. These fighters weigh 160 pounds. First up in the blue corner, he's 29 years old and fights for Team Take Flight out of Salinas, California. Once again, this is his debut professional MMA fight. His opponent in the red corner is 24 years old, fights for Team Santos out of San Ramon, California. He was 8-1 as an amateur and was a Cal State champion, also in his professional debut, Temujin. Your referee for this fight is John Toll. Here we go. An exciting matchup. For the first time of a possible three, there are three men remaining in the cage, the third of whom is referee John Toll. Here we go, round one. Huge kick right away from Temujin. Yes. And oh. massive, vicious punches thrown as he is taken down quickly. Oh. Temujin looking to escape, on top. and he certainly does. Fights for Team Santos BJJ in San Ramon, California, although he originally hails out of Mongolia. Mongolian MMA fighters have certainly been overtaking the regional scene in the last five years. They have indeed. Ooh, nice check from Zuria. Yeah, that nice kick was checked Zuriya. and it looked like it hurt Temujin just a little bit. Big shots land by both men. Nice knee from Zuria. Temujin has the speed and power behind those punches. Nice teep from Temujin. So far, Temujin's had success with those teep kicks to the body. And so lands another one, followed by a smile on the face of the man in the red corner. Big left hand by Zuria. The leg kicks of Zuria slowly starting to add up. Yeah, it looks like Timujin doesn't like those leg kicks. Oh, but a huge right hand flush on the face of the blue corner fighter. Mujin looking for a takedown against the cage. The position is reversed. And a beautiful lateral drop by Zuria. Ends up on top the back. once again. Looking for that up. rear naked choke. 
Temujin 8 and 1 as an amateur MMA fighter. He's got a clean slate 0 and 0. That will change tonight. Huge right hook narrowly misses. Mujin starts to look for a knee, quickly backs out at the last second. Oh, huge right hook. To Mujin, great counter striker. Nice teep. Yet another teep kick. Now, Kevin, let me ask you how do these teep kicks accumulate over time in this fight? Are they annoying? Are they painful? Do they actually cause any damage? Yeah, they deplete your gas tank. And the point is to drop your hands, so therefore he could land that straight punch to the face. The more teeps he throws, the, the more his opponent lowers their, his, his guard. See how his guard is lowered? Both fighters cool, calm, and collected here in the first round, which is now halfway over. Brought to you, of course, by ExecuShield.com, MMA Raw and made possible by brightpathvideo.com. For the very best in all your streaming needs, it's not just fights, they also do weddings, graduations, and whatever else you please. For all your streaming needs, the man to contact is the one and only John Perulis. Oh, that hurt him, that hurt him. Oh, another big flurry by Temujin. Head kick misses from Zunia. And you know, Kevin, if these teep kicks from Temujin aren't doing significant damage or hurting his opponent very much, at the very least, they are racking up big points on the judges' scorecard. That as well. Ten seconds remain in the first of a possible three rounds. One, two, one, two. Zaria can't let Temujin get comfortable with those teeps. It looks like Temujin found his rhythm. Could not agree more, Kevin. Zaria was doing very well with those leg kicks. It looks like Temujin is very uncomfortable when he gets thrown those leg kicks. If Zaria keeps throwing those leg kicks, it could force Temujin to switch his stance. Team. Round number two officially underway, and I gotta say, Kevin, neither of these two young men look particularly tired. Oh, nice try to throw a spinning back kick. Big overhand right by Temujin, followed by another teep kick. We have seen a plethora of those here tonight. Yeah, Zuri has to keep throwing those leg kicks. It'll force Timujin to switch his stance and then that'll prevent him from throwing those teep kicks. Nice body kick. Once again, a big teep kick lands from Temujin. Zaria with the First takedown. Takedown of the match is attempted and successfully completed by Zuria. Nice, and then Zaria takes the back. 
Once again, he rides a little bit too high, and Temujin is able to escape and end up on top. What will he do with the top control? to get out of this position. And he's he out. does just that, Kevin. And then Timujin right with the teeth kicks. Exemplary teeth kicks on display by Timujin. Nice. Oh. Once again, appeared to be a little bit low. Zuria protesting, stating he was kicked in the groin. And this fight is officially over. Temujin is going to be your winner via TKO in round number two. Zuria still clutching the groin area. Unclear if it was seen by the referee. It seemed to be a groin shot. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, three minutes and 16 seconds into round number two via TKO. Referee stoppage due to strikes in the red corner to Mucha. What an unfortunate ending to this. Uh... Yeah, although the ending was controversial, that was a uh, fantastic display of striking by both oh, yeah. men, but particularly on uh, on Temujin's behalf, which, you know, I think he may have been winning the first couple rounds regardless. Yeah. And if he would have kept that pace, I think he certainly would have got his arm raised either way here tonight, Kevin. Yeah, that's true.